Hi, Ellie here from Blake and Taylor and this is Liz. Today we've decided to do a little makeover on this timber basket. I've waterproofed the inside with a waterproofing seal called Weather Seal. Put three coats of that on the inside. That's not our new white paint that you can see in there. It's this Weather Seal to protect the timber from any moisture from the plants that we're going to put in there because we're going to turn this into a herb basket. And we're now painting the outside of it with our new white Blake and Taylor chalk furniture paint, which is brilliant, as you all know. And we will turn it into a herb basket and fill it up and just give it a new lease on life. We're deciding that we might put some stripes on it as well in our sage green paint. So we'll just keep going with this. We'll have to put two coats of the new white on and then we'll get into putting our stripes on it. Now timber basket is dry we've done two coats of new white paint so now I'm going to measure up so we can put our our tape on which is a no leak tape so we can put our stripes in sage green so measure across here that's 610 so we have to measure the middle so we have to measure 305 I just put a small pencil mark there so I want to do a wide stripe of sage and then on either side put a narrower stripe of sage so we just tape it up, should measure the bottom as well so that you can line up your pencil marks as being exactly the middle and your tape will be straight. So I'm going to do the centre stripe as two, two widths of tape and then the outer stripes as one width of tape. Make sure you press it down so there's no, there's no gaps in the tape anywhere. So that's on one side of the pencil mark and this is going on the other side so it will be dead centre. draw another pencil mark on the edge of my tape, top and bottom on both sides. That tells me where the next piece of tape needs to go. Because these two pieces of purple tape represents where the wide sage stripe is going. So I want to mask off on the edge of these pieces of tape because that's where the sage isn't going. So this white section in the middle, that's going to be sage, which is my wide stripe. And then there'll be white. And then we have to measure another piece of tape, width of tape, in between. I just find this easier than just using the tape measure, put the tape on exactly, and then you get perfect line won't be crooked. Mark the edge of your purple tape, take it off and move your tape to where your marks are. So there's your wide sage stripe and your narrow sage stripe next to it. So we just repeat that process on the other side. Tape exactly next to the other piece of tape. Mark the edge, move your piece of tape to your marks and then you have perfectly measured even straight stripes. Press down on your tape again because you don't want to have any leakage. Okay. And so now we can just paint those three sections and see what it looks like. So here's my sage paint, sage green, chalk furniture paint. 
paint and just gently paint these sections. Just go straight off the edge so that you get no bleed over the side of the basket. This brush is one of our 25mm round synthetic brushes if you want to buy it from the website. I really like this brush. So this is going to need two coats. So I'll just wait, let it dry and then do another coat and then do the other side with the stripes. done two coats now of my sage green for my stripes it's dry so now I'm going to peel off the tape it's always a bit nerve-wracking to think oh my god did it leak what happened oh no that one's good so it is all a bit because oh. sometimes you know there are little errors and you have to fix it up paint over start again so pull the tape down on itself I always find don't pull the tape up and away like don't pull it up like this make sure you fold it down sort of on itself then there's not as much drag or pull on your paint and then less room for error with the paint coming away or oh, blobs there <gasps> Yay! Look at that! so I have done the other side taped that up so I'm just waiting for that to dry as well but oh, I'm pretty impressed with that I love that sage green on there when we put the herbs in there it's gonna look marvelous so it tapes off everything's dry and we now do a coat of our clear top coat to protect our paint make sure you put it on thin don't put it on thick or it will yellow make sure you don't get any drips or any runs so keep checking your work over it so that there's no drips or runs showing. It's quick, has the consistency of water. So very quick, very easy to apply. So we wait for that to dry and then we can fill it up with our herbs. Well, I'm pretty excited. Look at our basket. It was so ugly to begin with and now look at it been waterproofed on the inside so I can put my herbs in here or you can put your herbs in here if you want and how terrific does it look it's not like the same basket and it just looks beautiful I'm very excited at how clever we all are thanks for watching I hope you've gotten some ideas out of this little makeover that we've done today we certainly always learn something every time we create a new project and I hope that you do too